Hello everybody. In this video I want to show how we can assign uh, our own section properties for 1D beam elements in Codastel. I have a very simple example, a single span uh, with a simple supported beam. And uh, the command that uh, we use to assign properties to 1D, 1, 1D elements is uh, affectRLM. If we go to this command, we can see that we can uh, select a general section and uh, for this general section we have the possibility to have a constant uh, properties or linear properties changing from one end to another for the constant that is uh, what we're going to show today we can uh, specify a number of uh, properties to that we have to input so instead of uh, defining the geometric properties of our section we input uh, directly the, the mechanical properties so uh, how we can uh, proceed i have an example based on a, a steel profile because i think that this can be something representative i have this uh, table of some steel profiles i'm just going to use this uh, steel profile and uh, here i have all the properties uh, that uh, i need which properties should we consider here well we have to go to the documentation I have the documentation here uh, of africa lm in english because i have to understand uh, better but also in french so that i have the correct uh, the correct symbols because sometimes the symbols change uh, when you are uh, in english and here you can see also which are the obligatory values so you need the the area of the cross section the two moment of inertia you need the shear coefficient if you want to, to consider the shear deformations and uh, you need the personal constant these are what we're going to use plus uh, we're going to use the distance from uh, the center to the extreme fibers so we give uh, the possibility also to Codaster to calculate uh, the section modulus and this will give us uh, also the maximum stress calculation so this is kind of something extra let's go to our codastead to a stress study so we have the area and the two moment of inertia the CR coefficient the torsional constant and the two distance uh, in the two directions from the center to the extreme fiber if you see these numbers they correspond to the numbers i took from this table the only thing i want to explain is first of all that the notation that you see here so y-axis and z-axis is the same as the notation in Codaster and uh, in order to calculate the CR coefficients these CR coefficients are you can be calculated by dividing the area the total area of the cross-section divided by the CR effective area so it's a coefficient that reduces the area in each of the two directions to, to the area that uh, resists uh, CR I also have an Excel file very simple Excel file where uh, I just put all these numbers and uh, I have a prediction for the displacement and a prediction for uh, the maximum generalized forces and the maximum stresses I think this is a very important part when uh, uh, trying new things with Codaster and you have to verify that your results uh, are uh, coherent that your results uh, make sense and also this will uh, can help you understand uh, if you, what you're doing is correct or uh, how some of the parameters uh, work okay so I have done all this correctly 
I have uh, just uh, the shelf weight of the of the beam, so I'm just assigning the the acceleration of gravity. I'm using newton and millime millimeters as uh, units, so I'm considering 10 meters per second uh, square, so 10,000 uh, millimeters per second square for the acceleration of gravity. I have a simple supported beam and I am extracting the generalized forces and the maximum uh, stresses. Okay, so having done that we can go and do the analysis. It's a very simple analysis and then we go to Paraview and this is our result. I'm just going to use this. Okay, so let's see first the displacements 0 0.47 millimeters. We have 0 0.46 without accounting for shear deformation, so this is a, a good number. Then we can go to the CR in the z direction and this is about uh, 1000 uh, newton which we'll see is okay and uh, the maximum moment sorry the maximum moment which is 1.3 10 to the sixth and if we go to our excel file you can see that this is about 1000 and this is 1.3 10 to the 6 so we're good and then we just have to verify these two values so let's say 3.38 and 0 0.58 and we go to C Ponoeu that is uh, the stress the maximum stresses in the z direction yes 0 0.58 3.4 so everything uh, is working and just to show here that this 0 0.58 is what so that is why it's important also to have the excel file to understand exactly what result you're getting is the maximum shear divided by the by the effective area so this is the number so if uh, you want to consider uh, a parabolic uh, distribution you have to do your calculations probably 1.5 this this value so this is uh, how it works this is how you can uh, define your own cross-section in Codaster there is also some other uh, there are some other possibilities that you can have a cross section a general cross section defined as a mess and uh, using a, a macro command Codaster can uh, calculate uh, all these parameters so in that case you don't have to have a table this p could be perhaps uh, the, the opportunity for another uh, tutorial in the future but i think that uh, with this tutorial uh, you can uh, have uh, some good implementations you can consider uh, some uh, profiles of uh, your own and uh, you can uh, implement some general uh, cross sections i hope uh, it was uh, a useful tutorial and uh, see you next time thank you